Hello, and welcome to this MouseCreate tutorial on how to register and create new groups on your brand new MouseCreate platform. Your first step is to go to create.mouse.org. So once again, create.mouse.org. Once you are there, you'll be here at this page, and we're going to ask you to either log in or sign up. I'm going to assume you have not signed up yet, and you're just barely getting started, so let's get right to it. The first question it's going to ask you is, what kind of account do you want to make? Let's start with an educator account. Now we're going to ask you, are you a current mouse member? The first answer is, my site is a mouse member and I have my site's educator code. And that's only if you've already signed up and we've already emailed you your code. The next response is, I think my site is a mouse member, but I don't have my site's educator code. Let's click and take a look at what that does. So. If you think you are a mouse member but you do not have your educator code, it will ask you to email create.mouse.org with your name and the name of your school or your organization, and we'll do our best to get you an answer as swiftly as possible. And finally, the last response is, I want to learn about becoming a mouse member. Let's take a look at that. So, it's going to give you this link to mouse.org forward slash join. Let's take a look. Just keep scrolling down, and learn more, and sign up for a membership. Just fill that out, send it in, and we'll do our best to get to you as fast as possible. Okay, let's pick the first response. You are a mouse member and you have your educator code. The first thing we're going to ask you to do is to create a username. So your username, we recommend that it's something completely unique to you, because if somebody already has it somewhere else in the mouse world, Unfortunately, it would already be taken. So let's see. Let's. And my name is Ivan, by the way. Ivan at mouse one two three. Oh, symbols are not allowed. That is good to know. And it'll tell me if it's available or not available. Thankfully, this name is available. Next, we're going to ask you to create a password. Okay, it has to be at least seven characters, and it can be a combination of anything. Great. And next, we do require your first and last name. As well as your email. And as well as your date of birth. And finally, these ethnicity and gender questions, though while we do appreciate if you do answer them, you do not have to. Finally, just look over the terms of service. And once you're done reading it and you agree, just please mark that you have read and agreed to the terms here. Then finally click, I am not a robot. Ooh, let's have fun here. Okay, and let's register. Oh, wow, look at that. Somebody already has that email address. Let's try something else. And finally, we're going to ask you if you have your educator code. Remember, your educator code is the code that you already have inside of your email. Now let's come back to this page, and let's pretend that I'm just about to log in. I've already inputted my educator code, and I'm ready to go. Okay, now that we've logged in, we're going to ask you to create a group. At the top, you'll see the name of your site. The site is the name of your school or your organization. Since I work for mouse, mine says mouse site. Now it's going to ask you to create a group name. Just like your username, your group name has to be completely unique to you as well. So let's do Ivan Mouse 123 Group. And finally, we're going to ask that you have a parent guardian permission agreement. 
mark that you've read and agree to the terms here. And now you create your group. And great, now I'm inside the Mouse Create platform. Here at the top you'll see the name of your group. You will see your group code. And might I highly stress that your group code is the only code that should be shared with your students. However, you can share your educator code with fellow educators, but not your students. Only the group code should be shared with your students. And since I just created this group, you'll see that my playlist is empty. In the meantime, you can go to the projects area to look around and start creating. You can always go to the projects area by clicking on the paper airplane. More on this in another video. You can also click on your profile and you'll be able to check your Credly status if your students are collecting badges. You'll be able to see the names of your groups that you've created, as well as the badges you've earned, and as well as any work that you or your students have turned in recently. On the lightning bolt, that's your notifications. You'll see just basically some info about if anyone's joined your group or any news around the mouse world. And if you click on the pancake stack here, on more, you'll see the help button. Well, it just leads you to a page with a lot of information that might be able to help you out. We're always glad to help you out as well if you just email us at help at mouse.org. But let's say it is after work hours and you're just stuck out on something, you can always take a look around here. So let's come back to the pancake here. You can also click on the wire. The wire is a handy, just form of information about the mouse world. We have all sorts of announcements for competitions, fairs, and any information we'd love to get out to you. So now back on our page, I'm back at the pancake stack. And I can click on my groups and I'll see all the groups that I've created. And I can always add a group or delete a group. So let me go back to the group that I just created. Great, so now I'm inside. What do I do here? Or what does this even all mean? Let's take a look at all these individual tabs. So the first one right here is group work. In group work, you'll see all the work that your students have submitted inside of this group. If we click on badges, you'll see the badges any of your students have earned inside of this group. And if you click on members, you'll see everyone who's a member of this group. Well, how do you even become a member inside of this group? Great question. When you're ready to have students, just go ahead and share them this group code. Every group code will be unique to the group created for you. This is just an example one for me to show you. So I'm going to copy this group code. Okay. Now let's take a quick time out. Let's pretend I am a student and I'm ready to sign in. Mr. Vasquez, my teacher, has shared his group code with me and he's telling me to log into Mouse Create. First of all, I'm going to sign up and I'm going to register. Since I'm a student, once again, pretend that I'm a student right now. And once again, it's going to ask me to create a username and it has to be unique to me. Ivan the student one two three. Great, your username is available. Next, I need a password. And remember, it has to be at least seven characters. It could be a combination of letters, numbers, what have you. And for this, we just need their first name. And it helps us to have their last name as well. And we just need their birth year. The month and day is not required, neither are any of the demographic information. But they can answer if they wish, or if their parents wish. 
And finally, once their parents have read the terms of service and they have read and agreed to them, they can click right here. And finally can click they're not a robot. And then they register. Great, so now they're ready to join a brand new group. So, good thing my teacher, Mr. Vasquez, sent me his group code earlier. Let's enter that group code now. Now I'm going to join the group. And I'm now in the group that I created just a few minutes ago when I was pretending to be the teacher, now I'm pretending to be the student. And once I log in here, I'll see anything and everything my teacher has set out for me. Thank you for joining this tutorial. Please watch the next one on projects. Thank you.